canoeist Lisa D. Hart here, three minutes with a main guide. We're going to tump line a canoe. The reason why we're doing a clove hitch is because you can adjust it. You can make it longer or shorter depending on how it feels. And I'm going to come right up to the knot because I know that's how I like it. We're going to clove hitch this side. And I'm going to come right up to the knot on this side. And then, because once you get this, you really don't want it to move, I'm just going to put a half hitch stopper in the whole thing. Okay, now here's how I know the measurement. You can memorize this for yourself. It's, you can make a measurement where you do this and see where it hits your arm on your own portage joke, and then that'll help you kind of memorize it. And there's a canoe on a tump line. Now, this ta does take up a nice amount of the weight. I can feel that. It also keeps it from sliding back off my shoulders. Um, you do need to practice this. You need to get it to a certain point, get the tump line in front, and then get it on you. And it's always nice when you're learning and you're practicing to have somebody fairly reliable who is your friend on that end. Let me show you how this comes off. Just like with a pack, you're going to slide it back and then you're going to go ahead and take the boat off. Okay. I don't portage often. But when I do, I like to use a tump line. Stay canoeing, my friends. I'm Lisa D. Hart. You've just spent three minutes with the main guide.